dolls so I filmed a video recently and I was wearing this hairstyle but I got a ton of requests to film a tutorial on this hair it is super quick and super easy to accomplish so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video so you can see how I achieve these super messy space buns you're only gonna need a couple items for this just a brush to brush out your hair a teasing comb to tease your hair and two ponytail holders obviously optional are accessories like bows and different hair ties and things like that but I'm just gonna show you with a basic ponytail holders for now so first you want to just get all of your hair and brush it out make sure there are no tangles in it now the next step is to part your hair down the middle as if you were going to put in pigtails so since i'm doing this kind of like in a rush by myself on camera my apologies if my part isn't perfect like so and just part your hair again mine is not going to be perfect by any means but uh I always like to have someone help me part my hair perfectly in half if I am going to be wearing a hairstyle like this out for the day. I don't want my part to be all like janky and weird. Sometimes I'll take the time and even do like a zigzag part and it'll look really cute but I don't got the patience for that lately <laughs> so I don't do it. And usually I just wear my hair up like this when I am doing videos or taking photos so I don't stress too much about the part in the back. Now as you can see I'm just taking each side and brushing through it and pulling my hair as high as I possibly can and getting all of these rats out then as you can see I have a nice pigtail here so I'm gonna take a ponytail holder and I'm going to secure this down wrapping it three times making it fairly tight and snug so there is a ponytail and now we're just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side self-explanatory and obviously a hairstyle like this is easier with dirty hair so a little bit harder to work with when it's freshly washed so you definitely want to attempt a hairstyle like this once your hair has gone a few days without being washed okay now you have your little symmetrical ponytails so now the next step is to tease your hair this is a conair teasing comb i just got either at sally's or ulta one of the two you can get them all over the place everywhere and you're just gonna basically take a piece of hair and just start back combing it and this is going to create a lot of volume to your buns and that's what's going to give them kind of the messy crazy look that we're going for obviously depending on how full and how big you want your bun to be that's going to determine how much you want to back comb um, my hair back combs very well because i do have like choppy layers in my hair but if your hair isn't back combing very well, just do it in smaller sections. If you just do it in small sections rather than trying to do like the whole thing at once, definitely do smaller sections and it will build up and work in your favor. This reminds me of a time in high school. I was in PE dance class and we had to choreograph and perform our own dances on the auditorium stage in school at like six o'clock at night or something and that was our finals. I remember choreographing a dance with my friends and I had to wear my pigtails like this because it was like a little sleepover type party or a little sleepover party themed dance and you know in theater and when you're on stage you have to over dramatize things so that people in the back row can see what's going on like they say with drag queens paint for people in the back row so that they can see all the glam that's going on so I like did my pigtails so puffy and extreme like this and it was it was comical and it was great I miss that class that is like one of the only things I miss about school to be honest okay so once you have your poofs happening now what you want to do is just take your poof on one side and kind of fold it in half like kind of fold it like so don't know if you can really tell that and you're gonna take this tail part 
and tuck it into one of the ponytail holder, one of the hair tie loops. So I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing here, but I'm just like looping it over that. And then boom, you have your little bun and then you can just pull it apart and position it however you want to. Tighten it, loosen it. If you wanted to tighten it more, you can just pull more to the back and insert it again into that little loop. And these are supposed to be like messy space buns, so if they come out a little crazy at first, that is perfectly fine. You can kind of just manipulate them and play with them until you get a look that you like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. I'm just gonna take my hair and tuck it into that ponytail. And that is pretty much the concept, give or take. Obviously, you can grab some bobby pins and secure down certain parts, like if you wanted to secure down this bottom and the top right here so that it stays a little bit more tight and isn't gonna fall out. And of course, you can definitely use hairspray to set everything in place. Then the last thing that I like to do is take down some little pieces from my fringe on the sides just for them to kind of hang down and frame my face a little bit just like so you can even kind of back comb them as well to give them a little bit more volume but yeah that is pretty much it a very easy quick tutorial definitely something fun to do for photos or just relive your spice girls days I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you try this down in the comment section below. Tweet me your photos at Amanda31409. There are a few spots that keep kind of like falling out that I'd like to fix here and there. I think that the hairstyle itself is definitely very quick and easy to do. It's just the manipulating of it to make it perfect that is what takes the most amount of time. But overall, it is a very fun and quirky hairstyle I always get a kick out of it when I do it for photos and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up share it with your friends have fun with it and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye